In this lesson, we will talk about some of the available media server options out there. Let's start with the popular one, Jetsi. Jetsi is not only a WebRTC media server, but has a whole platform built around it. The Jitsi family of products include Jitsi Video Bridge, which is an SEFU media relay, Jitsi Meet, a conference web client, Jikafo, which is something that they call a conference focus. It basically manages media sessions between each participant and the media server. Jigasi, which is a SIP gateway, and Jitsi SIP phone. The most appealing feature of the Jitsi platform is that it includes everything for a communication platform to be up and running in a matter of a few hours. It also implements its own signaling using Jingle and a fully featured web interface. Another popular option is Curento. Curento is one of the most versatile solutions out there. It's not only a media server, but a toolkit to build one. Its main advantage is that it introduced the concept of a media workflow that allows to define how and where the media flows from code. This allows for a developer to be able to compose and integrate very interesting features such as computer vision, real-time media modifications, and interoperability with voice over IP services. Currento can also be configured to function as SEFU or MCU, or both, in a single instance. Next, we have Janus. While its description doesn't mention media server anywhere, Janus can be set up as an SEFU pretty easily. One of its most notable features is its plugin architecture that allows to augment the service core capabilities. There is a demo page that displays a few interesting use cases of Janus, such as SIP gateway, screen sharing, and others. Last but not least, we have MediaSoup, a relatively new and interesting media server. What makes it different from the rest it is that it's designed to be a library, allowing it to be integrated in bigger applications. It is more specific than other media server but it, works, but it works great as an SEFU, which is what it was built for. So, that's it for this lesson. When you're ready, let's jump into the lab.